this is attorney Arkady Freckman, and today I'm talking about Camp Lejeune. Is it a class action lawsuit? And if you or a loved one qualify, how do you get involved? It's not a class action. A lot of people um, confuse it with a class action. You get those letters in the mail and they say, oh, you, were you involved in this so-and-so stock or so-and-so company that you uh, you were a subscriber to a, an internet service, you may be entitled to a few bucks, like $4.99, $7. And a lot of people think that Camp Lejeune is in that same category, and it's not. You're entitled to bring your own lawsuit for your injury, and that is going to be filed in federal court in North Carolina. A new law just passed August 10th of 2022, and the statute of limitations, which is the time that you have to file a lawsuit, is two years, meaning it's until August 10th of 2024. And to qualify, somebody who lived or was stationed at Camp Lejeune, so it could be a base worker, a service member, their family, anyone who spent time there. The statute says that you have to spend at least 30 days there to qualify. And the time period involved is from 1953 all the way through 1987. And the people stationed there suffered a lot of serious health conditions, such as different forms of cancers, health-related issues, a lot of neurological issues. And it was due to contaminated water at uh, Camp Lejeune. It was due to the groundwater. And um, basically the danger was that there were a lot of different chemicals that were leaking into the groundwater. And those included trichloroethylene, TCE, benzene, perchloroethylene, tetrachloroethylene, vinyl chloride, VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds. And a lot of these are solvents. So solvents are chemicals that are meant to dissolve other substances. So they're very, very harmful. You do not want them in your body. But because people were uh, drinking the water, bathing, cooking, showering, washing, just using the water at Camp Lejeune, they were exposed and about a million people were exposed. And the government knew about this, the federal government, and they set up the Veterans Administration to negotiate these claims. But if you look at the statistics, uh, at one point, I think 17% of the claims were approved and the rest of the time they were denied. And then at one point, only 5% of the claims were ever approved and the rest were denied. Um, so yeah, these chemicals, um, th th they're used for industrial cleaning. They're used as degreasers, even like metal degreasers. When you degrease metal, these are really harmful chemicals. Some of them are used in dry cleaning. So basically, um, there are a few different uh, injuries that qualify and it's probably uh, too voluminous to describe all of them, but they go into different tiers. So the primary conditions, the, the, some of these are presumed these conditions are presumed to cause uh, to be caused by the toxic water, the contaminated water at Camp Lejeune. And these include conditions like bladder cancer, breast cancer, female infertility, acute lymphocytic leukemia, known as ALL, uh, kidney cancer, liver cancer, leukemia, lung cancer, and then some others maybe fall into different tiers where you can still recover for the injury, but it may not be a presumption that it is caused by the contaminated water. And so like we mentioned, you have two years to file. You have from August 10th of 2022 all the way up until August 10th of 2024. And you have to file in the middle, In the, it's an MDL, and it's in uh, the federal court in North Carolina. So it's a multi-district litigation but it's not gonna be handled like a class action. I would say it's gonna be handled more like the claims for the World Trade Center were handled where um, they look at each individual person, um, they look at their injuries, they look at um, their economic losses, non-economic losses, and then they come up with a fair settlement for that individual. So it's not like a class action where it's just, you know, you get like $4 each person, that's ridiculous. Now this is gonna be, significant compensation, substantial compensation to each person. And so um, 
Yeah, so I think like the important thing is that it's not a class action so that people should be aware of their rights and they can file a claim, they can contact us. We're actually gonna be working on these cases. We already have a few cases. We have, I think, close to 100 cases already and we are actively pursuing um, handling more cases. We're probably gonna partner with another firm, a larger firm that litigates these uh, cases as mass torts and the multi-district litigation and work together to get the best result for clients. So yeah, feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to be a resource to answer your questions. You could text me, you could call us and we'll drop some links and maybe we'll do some other videos about this topic that are more specific that answer your frequently asked questions. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Let us know what questions you have and we are here for you. Our mission is helping serious injury victims and their families. Have a great day. Bye-bye.